Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. Welcome to this special episode celebrating the first anniversary of Luminar Neo. It has been a year since we received an announcement email letting us know that the Luminar Neo is here. The team at Skylum, the designers of this fantastic software, had a busy year introducing almost 30 updates, rolling out the professional extension scheme and following user advice wherever possible to enhance the overall experience. Looking at the number of updates and extensions, it's safe to say that Luminar Neo isn't the same software today compared to the one we first saw on the 15th of February 2022. Once up and running, in 2022, the software won the TIPA Award as the Best Imagining Software Enthusiast and the Red Dot Award for the user interface. In 2023, we hope to see even more updates, bringing us new tools and speeding up the editing process. Here at Clever Photographer, we follow the development of the software at every step, with over 200 videos focusing on the software and everything that comes with it. We have covered every new update and try to answer as many questions as possible. To help you further, we have released four products, including our all-time bestseller Luminar Neo Power Bundle. We have also introduced highly recognized Luminar Neo Masterclass with over 69 training videos. We are also halfway through releasing our highly anticipated four-season series focusing on digital tools for each photography session. If you want to learn more about our Luminar Neo products, visit our website at cleverphotographer.com. And now, before we're going to look at the today's edit and have a little bit of fun in Luminar Neo, I want to mention a little bit more about the promotion Skylum is running to celebrate its first anniversary. From today, the 15th of February until 20th of February, all the subscription plans get one plus one offer, where depending on the method of your purchase, you may get a month or an entire year of a subscription for free. This also applies to extensions. So if you want to try any of them, you can save a lot of money using the promotion right now. For those who prefer one-time payment, the lifetime purchase is also available with a special discount and you will get the Magic Light AI extension with it for free. Finally, any plan or software purchase in this period will receive a unique creative anniversary collection of the assets you can use in the software to enhance your images. To access this offer, follow the link in the description of this video. Now, in today's episode, we're going to have a little bit of fun when it comes to photo editing, and I'm going to show you how we can add a flames to the candles and how we can also add a birthday balloon to your image. If you want to follow me along, all you need to do is to jump into the description of the video, click on the link there, and that will bring you into our Dropbox account where you can download the sample files. Once you're ready, just upload them into the software and we can start. So as you can see, I have everything ready here. Image of me. I have a three candle flame overlays and you are more than welcome to keep them and use them on your future projects. And then I have this PNG image of a balloon. It's a simple birthday balloon with a transparent background. 
If you want one, there's nothing easier than head to something like a Google and just write down birthday balloon PNG and it will come out and you just download it and use it. So for the edit, we're gonna use a sample file of me. So let's just click on it, select it and move it into edit module. So I captured this image earlier this week in a preparation for the anniversary. I knew that I will want to hold the balloon, so I positioned my hand like this. And then I had a birthday cake with the candles. I have lit them up earlier and then blow them off to make sure that they don't melt. So now I'm gonna show you how we can easily fix that and add the flames to them. And then how we can place a balloon in my hand and maybe even change a color of it. So let's start with the flames. For that, we need to go into our layers panel, click on a plus sign and then go into the load image. After this, you need to navigate towards the location where are your sample files and then go into the candle overlays. Let's just select the first one and click on open. Once you do that, we need one more. We have a two candles. So let's again click on load image and select another one. Let's say the first one here and click on open. So now we have two flames ready. Let's select the first one, click on it and wait for a few seconds until it appears on our image. Now we have it on our image, and when I hover over it, you can see that our mouse changed into this little hand. By doing that, now I can position it around the image, and I can use the little white dots in a corner to adjust the size. So let's do that, and let's just adjust the size of the flame. For now, let's just position it here, and let's go into the layer properties. In the layer properties, what we want to do is to increase the opacity to 100 and then go into the blending mode drop down box, click on it and change it into the screen. So by doing that, we remove the black background. Now let's zoom in a little bit and we can do that by using our keyboard with the command or control plus. And we can also just move around by using the space bar on our keyboard and move around the image. Now, while we're here looking at our flames, we can still adjust it, maybe make it a little bit smaller and place it over the actual knot. If we want, don't forget that you can also rotate the flame in order to make it more natural. Once we're happy, just hit enter and we are done. Now let's go ahead and add another flame. So again, let's go back to our layers panel, click on a plus sign and select the second flame. Now we need to zoom out again, and then we do the same. We adjust the size of the flame, position it roughly over the second candle right here, go into the layer properties, increase the opacity, and then change the blend modes from normal into the screen. Now I can again zoom in and just adjust the flame. So a little bit bigger, something like this, and that's so now we have uh, two flames on our candles. So let's go ahead and add the balloon into my hand. We will do that exactly the same way. We're gonna go into our layers panel, click on a plus sign, load images, and let's go back into our sample files where we have the birthday balloon ready. Click on it, select it, click on open, add it to your layers panel, and then click on it so we can now place it on our image. Now, once again, we can use our little white dots to adjust the size, roughly place it over my hand. So I think something maybe like this, maybe even bigger, something like this. And once we're happy, once again, we go into layer properties, increase the opacity and leave it from there. Now, of course, it doesn't look great as it kind of goes over my hand. So we can easily fix that by using masking. So let's zoom in again. And let's have a look at the area of the hand. Now we can just position it and we can go into the masking. In the masking, let's go into the brush. In the brush, we're gonna go into erase as we are erasing part of the balloon. Now we can adjust the size, but what we definitely need to do is to adjust the softness. So let's go quite low. I usually go somewhere around 15 and the strength we can leave on 100. Let's zoom in even closer. And now just one click here, remove this. And then very carefully, we can even make the brush a little smaller if we need. 
we can remove it here. Now I can zoom out and there we have it. Once we're happy here, we can close the layer properties. And I promised you that we can also adjust the color of the balloon. And we can do it now once we have still the balloon selected. We can go into the color tool in the essentials part of our main toolbar. Open the HSL panel. And all the way at the bottom, you can see there is a hue shift slider. And now when you start to push it around, you will see that the color of the balloon changes. So you can make it red, yellow, green, even more blue, purple, whatever you want. So let's say, let's go with the blue because everything is in a blue. Let's go dark blue. And there you have it. If you want, you can also use any of the HSL options here. You can, for example, turn the hue into the saturation and bring down the blue to make it more kind of pastel color. So this is how you add balloon and this is how you add flames into your candles and there you have it if you want a copy of our popular luminar neo shortcut cheat sheet there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminar gift while you're there you can also check out one of our popular luminar neo products or you can stay here and watch more videos about luminar neo for today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.